Hi, welcome to my channel and let's learn the licensing examination for securities and futures intermediaries paper 1 by a new and advanced method. All type of learning is the results of questioning something. This platform provides easy learning with the help of questions with their explanations. The individuals who want to pass their exams in a very easy way can find their questions, answers and their explanations in a very easy platform for their study. Let's start the exam. The question is. Pursuant to the Hong Kong Securities and Investment Institute, which of the following status of Hong Kong is reflected in the wide range of financial products and services that are available in Hong Kong, developed to meet demands for investment? The explanation is Pursuant to the Hong Kong Securities and Investment Institute, Hong Kong is an international financial center. This status implicitly recognized in Article 109 of the Basic Law of the Hong Kong Special Administrative Region of the People's Republic of China. This status is reflected in the wide range of financial products and services available in Hong Kong, developed to meet demands for investment, capital and income formation and capital raising, the facilitation of cash and capital flows, capital and investment protection, safe custody and security, speculation and insurance. The financial markets also provide an avenue for price discovery and liquidity of investments. The question is. Hong Kong is an international financial center, this status implicitly recognized in which of the following article of the basic law of the Hong Kong Special Administrative Region of the People's Republic of China? The explanation is. Pursuant to the Hong Kong Securities and Investment Institute, Hong Kong is an international financial center. This status implicitly recognized in Article 109 of the Basic Law of the Hong Kong Special Administrative Region of the People's Republic of China. This status is reflected in the wide range of financial products and services available in Hong Kong, developed to meet demands for investment, capital and income formation and capital raising, the facilitation of cash and capital flows, capital and investment protection, safe custody and security, speculation and insurance. The financial markets also provide an avenue for price discovery and liquidity of investments. The question is. Pursuant to the Hong Kong Securities and Investment Institute, which of the following products include debt and equity securities and derivatives in Hong Kong financial markets? The explanation is. Pursuant to the Hong Kong Securities and Investment Institute, Hong Kong is an international financial center. This status implicitly recognized in Article 109 of the Basic Law of the Hong Kong Special Administrative Region of the People's Republic of China. This status is reflected in the wide range of financial products and services available in Hong Kong. Following are the financial products that include debt and equity securities and derivatives, a. Futures and options, b. Foreign exchange products, C. Mutual funds. D. Unit and investment trusts. A. Certificates of deposit and other banking products. F. Money market products. G. Gold market products. H. Transferable interests in companies such as shares. I. Debentures. J. Warrants. K. Convertibles. The question is. Pursuant to the Hong Kong Securities and Investment Institute, which of the following services are provided by the Hong Kong financial market? The explanation is. 
Pursuant to the Hong Kong Securities and Investment Institute, Hong Kong is an international financial center. This status implicitly recognized in Article 109 of the Basic Law of the Hong Kong Special Administrative Region of the People's Republic of China. This status is reflected in the wide range of financial products and services available in Hong Kong. Following services are provided by the Hong Kong Financial Market A. Securities Dealing B. Futures Trading C. Foreign Exchange Trading D. Financial Advising, Corporate Finance E. Underwriting F. Mergers and Acquisitions G. Venture Capital H. Investment and Portfolio Management I. Investment Banking J. Commercial Banking K. Credit Rating Services L. Money Lending M. Gold Trading N. Insurance O. Insurance Broking The question is the growth and sophistication of financial products and services results in the flows of very large amounts of wealth and the proliferation of malpractices that have raised the need for which of the following type of factors? The explanation is Pursuant to the Hong Kong Securities and Investment Institute, the growth and sophistication of financial products and services results in the flows of very large amounts of wealth and the proliferation of malpractices have raised the need for efficient, well-organized markets and independent professional regulators. This combination of efficient, well-regulated markets and adequate regulation of market professionals, participants and products is the model that has been adopted in most markets. The question is. Pursuant to the Hong Kong Securities and Investment Institute, which of the following type of perception about regulators has been grown in the controlled and free market economies and their hybrids? The explanation is. Pursuant to the Hong Kong Securities and Investment Institute, a later development in controlled and free market economies and their hybrids has been the growing perception that regulators are well placed to perform useful functions in addition to regulation. For example, they can enhance the quality of the markets they regulate by a. Encouraging the development of new products and services b. Helping to improve the quality and skills of financial market professionals c. Helping to create a knowledgeable investing public by means of investor education program. The question is. Pursuant to the Hong Kong Securities and Investment Institute, the regulator can enhance the quality of the markets they regulate by performing which of the following type of activities? The explanation is. Pursuant to the Hong Kong Securities and Investment Institute, a later development in controlled and free market economies and their hybrids has been the growing perception that regulators are well placed to perform useful functions in addition to regulation. For example, they can enhance the quality of the markets they regulate by a. Encouraging the development of new products and services b. Helping to improve the quality and skills of financial market professionals. C. Helping to create a knowledgeable investing public by means of investor education program. The question is. Pursuant to the Hong Kong Securities and Investment Institute, which of the following type of common objectives should be present in the Hong Kong financial regulators? The explanation is. Pursuant to the Hong Kong Securities and Investment Institute, a later development in controlled and free market economies and their hybrids has been the growing perception that regulators are well placed to perform useful functions in addition to regulation. The Hong Kong financial regulators have certain common objectives. 
E. They help to maintain Hong Kong's position as a leading financial center by ensuring that the regulations they apply are necessary for the proper supervision of the financial markets. B. They aim to achieve their goal through financial regulations of an acceptable international standard. C. They strive to be market-friendly, open and approachable, but also fair and effective. D. To the extent of their powers, they seek to ensure that the legal framework of financial regulation is certain, adequate and fairly enforced. A. They encourage the installation of a sound technical infrastructure for the functioning of the financial markets and for interlinking with settlement and clearing systems globally. F. Their actions are designed to help promote confidence in the financial markets, internationally and locally. The question is. Pursuant to the Hong Kong Securities and Investment Institute, which of the following terms describe the philosophy and systems of regulation? The explanation is Pursuant to the Hong Kong Securities and Investment Institute, the philosophy and systems of regulation are described as being either merit-based or disclosure-based. These terms are usually used in considering share offers and listing matters. The systems in the United Kingdom and the United States are said to be disclosure-based. That is to say, the focus is on maximizing disclosure and provision of information regarding public offerings of securities. Disclosure can be mandatory or voluntary. In Hong Kong, the company's ordinance is disclosure based and has legal force. The idea is simply that maximum disclosure is required to protect investors, but there is an obligation on the part of the participants to take responsibility for using the full information to make their own independent investment decisions. The question is. Pursuant to the Hong Kong Securities and Investment Institute, which of the following terms are used for considering the share offers and listing matters? The explanation is. Pursuant to the Hong Kong Securities and Investment Institute, the philosophy and systems of regulation are described as being either merit-based or disclosure-based. These terms are usually used in considering share offers and listing matters. The systems in the United Kingdom and the United States are said to be disclosure-based. That is to say, the focus is on maximizing disclosure and provision of information regarding public offerings of securities. Disclosure can be mandatory or voluntary. In Hong Kong, the company's ordinance is disclosure based and has legal force. The idea is simply that maximum disclosure is required to protect investors, but there is an obligation on the part of the participants to take responsibility for using the full information to make their own independent investment decisions. Hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching.